Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can send emails from Arches Online from a notebook. Uh, you might have some kind of um, notebook that's, that's scheduled, maybe, and it, and it does some housekeeping like credit check or if, if, if a feature service is being used or not, you know, last update, or a process has actually finished, some geospatial analysis, you know, something like that. And you, you just want an email sent to you. Uh, once it's um, that that notebook is uh, process is completed, so to send emails, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll create a new standard notebook. So the only thing this notebook will do is simply send uh, send me an email. So this is your usual um, how it usually starts on a, on a particularly on the standard one. Um, so I'm not doing anything um, sophisticated, so it's not advanced or anything or analytical. All I'm doing, like I said, is sending a notification. So after you've done the, the usual at the top there, that's um, expected, uh, what I'll do is I'll just create a notification user. Um, and I've got this sort of demo user I need uh, that I use. And let's have a subject line in the email. Subject equals hello from Eagle. And let's have the text. So, so this is the text in my email. This is a notification um, from Eagle. Um, okay, and now we get on to the bit that, that actually does um, the email sending. Now, we're going to use this thing called um, send notification. So this is from, uh, so, so as usual, you created this sort of GIS um, object there. So it's users um, dot send notification. Um, and then you, oops, sorry, that's wrong. And then in the um, parameters, uh, the square brackets, you have what the, the actual user is you're sending to so that's a notification user I spelled that right yep uh, now that's actually a list so I've only got one value in there but but uh, it, it's actually expecting a list so you could you could send a whole bunch of folks uh, this email and then the subject and then the uh, text uh, and then what the type is that is uh, of no, of notification this is email there's there's a couple of other, I'll, I'll talk about the other things in a moment. And then just set the client ID equals none. And that's the last parameter. And then when we've done that, we'll do a print and say that notification sent to, and then that, um, yeah, that's just copy that, that object, a notification user. Uh, and there we go. So that's the basics of it. I think I've got it all right there. Now, just to um, clarify something about a bit about send notification. Now, in ArcGIS Online, you cannot hook up to an SMTP server. All right, that's prevented. Believe me, I tried. And I just tried for ages, and then suddenly I, I, I read somewhere in a forum or something that uh, oh, in my in my Python, I can't import SMTP. TP uh, libraries, the server libraries, you know, so I can do connect and send email, ex, ex, you know, and the rest of it. Um, so you can't do that. Uh, if you've got, and, and actually in ArcGIS Enterprise, uh, of course, so you've got portal and the, and the like, or you know, just enterprise server, you, you, you've got access to your own SMTP. So in that environment where you're controlling everything, you own everything, so I, it's not ArcGIS Online, but in the enterprise environment, you could connect to your SMTP server and do what you like. So this will be handled differently, especially after Enterprise 10.9, because actually send notification is not in, it is deprecated. So if you got Enterprise 10.9, uh, that's the last one, I think, um, that this appears. So you definitely would be in a, doing an SMTP server connection. And in fact, so if you've got Arches Monitor and things like that, that that's all SMTP as well for notifications. So, um, but like I said, SMTP server, you cannot connect within this. So what you're doing is taking advantage of this uh, send notification um, Python command here. Um, I think 
that's, and, I'll, and I'll put a link actually to the documentation for this so you can so you can um, be, be clearer so that's why the type you know it's email but it could be push and you could be using the inbuilt enterprise stuff but um, I'm, I'm just using email final point on this actually is that note I've got this notification user so that's like I said this is one of my sort of test names I use as a, as a kind of pseudo user and um, uh, and that's what you've got to use it's it's I've said type email but it, it's saying send a notification to this user using their email so it looks up in a goal what their email is it's registered to this user username and then sends an email you see so you're not you're actually referring to it via the username so let's just run this so we'll run the topic gives me a warning because actually I've, I've switched to admin role on this user um, so be wary and then let's run this bit for many errors well there you go it's pretty instant really so let's notification said to just go maps let's just go to my outlook and here you can see that it's um, uh, you know it's, it's saying hello from a goal so that's my subject it's got my name it says it's from notifications and there's my actual email and then there's the uh, message text so it came through great so there we go I hope you find that little bit of info useful uh, like I said it's great to do that kind of thing to uh, you know when, when a process is finished for example uh, you know or whatever and it's one way it's it's one way of, of getting some kind of feedback from a notebook let's say about its status and stuff because you could look at web hooks for example and things like that so there, there are other ways to connect out send comms uh, interconnect between systems this is a straightforward simple way web hooks take a bit of configuration stuff because you could even have this on a schedule that says I've got some users out there working in a, in a, in a work gang or something and and whenever they use a particular piece of equipment or you know, that they've got an inventory which I don't know it's a very expensive piece of equipment or um, you really want to know when it's being used that sort of thing and they've updated it in field maps well what you could do is 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 scan through that updated feature service for that particular bit of kit in here and then have an email sent to whoever to notify them that oh you know, there's that this bit of kit is being used in the field and this this could be scheduled every five minutes or something like that so you can do do, do stuff like that um but like i said there's there's the webhooks route as well anyway uh, i hope you find that useful thank you